she noticed a young boy, barely four or five years old, wandering alone with a dazed expression. Tears streamed down his face as he walked aimlessly. Concerned, she approached him and gently asked why he was crying and where his parents were. His answer shattered her heart. The sun-drenched beaches of Colombia's northern coast had always captivated photographer Chiro. With endless sights to capture and fascinating people, places, and objects to discover, the coastline was a constant source of inspiration. Over the years, she had built an impressive collection of photos from the Golden Sands and never ceased to marvel at its breathtaking beauty. This time, Chero wanted a fresh perspective. Instead of photographing the bustling shores crowded with sunbathers and swimmers, she planned to visit before sunrise. Her goal was to capture the first light of dawn as it painted the horizon with a warm orange glow, casting dramatic shadows on the desert-like sands and shimmering on the tranquil morning waves. She was thrilled at the thought of immortalizing the serene beauty of the untouched beach, but what she didn't know was that the next day's visit would not only shake her to her core, but also change her life forever. The morning came, and Cheryl's alarm went off well before dawn. She looked out her window and saw it was still pitch black. The streets seemed empty, and there was no one around, but there was a faint smell of smoke in the air. She shrugged it off, knowing that people in this part of Colombia liked to barbecue or cook in the streets. She chalked it up to someone making themselves a very late supper or a very early breakfast. After jumping in the shower, getting cleaned up, and pulling on some clothes, Cheryl made sure her camera was in full working order. She checked to ensure she had everything she needed, spare batteries, different lenses, a tripod, and made her way out of her hotel room, down the stairs, and through the eerily quiet lobby. Cheryl soon arrived at the beach just as the skies started to glow red, heralding the arrival of another beautiful day. She got to work without delay, capturing the stunning scene as the sun started to peak above the horizon. It took her breath away. It was everything she had imagined and more. Her camera was a blur as she moved from location to location, getting some of the most beautiful and breathtaking images ever. But, as she looked through her lens to get a nice wide panoramic photo of the whole beach, she noticed someone walking along it, the sea laughing at their feet. Something about this person made her pause, that looked like a child, a very young child at that. What was such a youngster doing all alone on the beach? There were no parents in sight, and the child seemed distressed, with tears running down his face. Cheryl ran towards the child as fast as she could, coming to a stop in front of the little boy. He was wearing pajamas that were scorched and burned in several places, and he smelled distinctly of smoke. He looked so confused. She asked the child his name, and through his sobs, he told her he was called Dylan. The young boy looked no older than five years old, and Chero offered him a big hug, which he gladly accepted. He cried inconsolably on her shoulder. After several long moments, Chero asked Dylan where his parents were and what he was doing on the beach all alone so early in the morning. The boy answered, still sobbing, but his answer made Cheryl's head spin and filled her eyes with tears. She was not prepared for the story that poor Dylan was about to tell her. According to Dylan, his mother and father had been to a party the night before. They had arrived home in the early hours and woken Dylan up. He had seen them put some kind of food on the grill and slumped down into chairs together. The boy said they were walking in wobbly lines and talking funny. Clearly, they were inebriated. Dylan's parents had then fallen asleep, while the grill was still cooking their food. Eventually, it started to burn and burst into flames. These flames spread to the surrounding area, and before long, the entire house was alight. Dylan's parents were so intoxicated that neither the smell of smoke nor their son's cries for help woke them up. Despite Dylan's best efforts to wake them, they perished in the inferno that consumed their home. Dylan had only just managed to escape with his life. He was worried he would get into trouble, so when he heard sirens approaching, he ran away and ended up on the beach, where Cheryl found him. Cheryl was stunned. She looked over his shoulder to the distant houses and noticed that one of them was still smoldering, looking like nothing more than black ruins. She could even make out the flashing lights of emergency service vehicles. Shaken, 
Cheryl reassured the boy that none of it was his fault. He asked her to promise, which she did before hugging him once again. She was in a daze after hearing the incredibly heartbreaking story, but what Dylan said next melted her heart and left her with a massive decision to make. The child asked if he could come home with Chero. Through his sobs, he said he thought she was kind and that he trusted her. Chero was flabbergasted. What should she do? She could only manage to hoarsely whisper the word, maybe. She looked from the boy to the burned house in the distance and made a decision. Picking up Dylan, she started to walk toward the authorities still dealing with the accident. When they arrived, she explained Dylan's story to them. The police officers and firefighters were all very kind to the young boy, comforting and consoling him. Cheryl asked what would happen to him, but was dismayed to find out that Dylan would be sent to a children's home and put up for adoption. His parents were dead, and there was no one else to take care of him. This news felt like a stab in Cheryl's heart. She looked at the boy with tears in her eyes, thinking back to what he had asked her on the beach, if he could come home with her. Cheryl took a deep breath and asked Dylan if this was truly what he wanted. He nodded without hesitation. What happened next was nothing short of heartwarming. Barely believing the words herself, Cheryl turned to the police officer and, with resolve in her voice, asked if she could adopt the orphaned boy. The officer warned that adopting an orphan child wouldn't be easy. There were legal hurdles to navigate and countless challenges to face, both expected and unforeseen. But Cheryl felt an unshakable bond with Dylan from the moment they met on that beach. It was as if fate had brought them together, and the image of Dylan wandering into her photograph seemed anything but a coincidence. Cheryl wished with all her heart that Dylan's life could be different that he still had his parents and a home by the stunning Colombian coast. But as the sun climbed higher into the clear blue sky, she made him a heartfelt promise. She would adopt him. He would become a part of her life, and she would dedicate herself to transforming him. To Cheryl, this little boy was more beautiful than any photograph she could ever capture. I'm really keen to know your thoughts on this story, so please don't hesitate to share your insights in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and found it engaging, I invite you to subscribe to our channel for more similar content. Feel free to share this video. Take good care of yourselves, and I'm excited to connect with you in our future videos.